project, I'm using a white sparkly double knit yarn, a three millimeter hook. I am using American terms. And if you're not sure of the stitches, I do have a tutorial and I'll add a link to the tutorial in the description box. So to make the sail of your little boat, you're going to start by making a slip knot and chaining 15 stitches. So 1, 2, 13, 14 and 15. And that is the bottom of your of your say. Now I'm using half double crochet on this project so to do a half double crochet wrap your wool around your hook insert it into the second chain from the hook wrap it round again pull your wool through wrap it round and pull it through all three loops on your hook and just do one half double crochet in the 14 stitches across so you've skipped the first one and you should have 14 stitches left. So one half double crochet in each stitch across and the last stitch 14 half double crochets. Now I'm going to keep this side of my sail straight and this side is going to taper up in a triangular shape. And so what I do is at the end of every row I chain one and I turn my work and I'm going to do one half double crochet right across until the last two stitches. So do 12 half double crochets in the row and 12 stitches and you should have two stitches left and we're going to crochet these together. So to order, in order to crochet uh, two half double crochets together what you do is you wrap your wool around your hook and insert it into the first stitch. Wrap your wool around your hook again and pull it through. Wrap your wool and pull it through two of the loops on your hook, leaving two left. Wrap your wool around your hook, pull it through the last stitch. Wrap your wool around your hook and pull it through. Wrap it round again and pull it through two loops and you should have three left. And wrap your wool around your hook and pull it through all three. Now I'll show you again when we come to the end of the row. So that's one, two half double crochets together. So then you do one half double crochet in each stitch remaining in that round. This round row like this and into the last stitch oops Get it through both sides and chain one turn your work and we're on to the next round and again what you're going to do is you're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch across until the last two stitches so, and then when we get to the end of this row, I'll show you again how to half double crochet two stitches together. So just continue to do one half double crochet across. So coming to the end of this row now, and you're going to half double crochet two together again. So how to do this is you wrap your wool around your hook, insert it into the first stitch, wrap your wool around your hook, pull it through, Wrap your wool around your hook and pull it through the first two loops, leaving two loops on your hook. Wrap your wool around your hook, insert it into the next stitch, wrap it round and pull it through. Whoops, we'll do that again. Wrap it round and pull it through two, leaving three loops on your hook. Wrap it round and pull it through all three loops. And then you are going to chain one and turn your work. And what you're going to do is you're going to continue this pattern of just straight up the side and decreasing at the end of every row right up until you come to a point at the top of the sail. Um, and when I get to the top of the sail, I will show you how to uh, crochet around the sail to make it look really neat. So I've come to sort of the top part of this uh, sail and I have three stitches left. So what I'm going to do is chain one do one half double crochet into the first stitch 
and one uh, half double crochet decrease two together into the second stitch chain one and I now have one uh, two you know I have two stitches left now so I'm just gonna half double crochet those two stitches together and you're at the very tip of your sail so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do one single crochet the whole way around the sail and it just makes the sail really neat so what I'm going to do is chain one and right down the side put one half double crochet in each row like that one was a bit messy. Now this is the tip. Try not to put your hook into the big gaps. Try and put it through the stitch. Like that. Just makes, uh, make sure that there's no big holes. And you do that right down to the corner. So I've come to the corner and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put three single crochets into the corner. I'm going to put them through there. One, two, and three. And going around any corner, putting three stitches into it makes it look a lot, a lot neater. And then I'm going to single crochet across the bottom um, until I get to the next corner. And in the next corner, I'm going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three, and I'm going to single crochet up along uh, the slanted edge. So, one, two, and three, and just continue doing this right up until you come back to the beginning. So, coming to the very end of your sail and obviously you can make two sails the same or one slightly smaller than the other and uh, I have also put a link in the description box to the background of this project and um, the waves and how to do that so uh, and I've come to the very top and what I do is I chain one cut my work and pull that through like that and you can just weave that in. And when you're you're sewing this on, you just try and keep this side as straight as possible. And that's your say. So I've chained 30, 30 stitches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half double crochet in each stitch across. So I'm actually going to skip the first two stitches. So you're going to have 28 half double crochets across. Now, at the end of this row, I just have one more half double crochet to do. And always chain one, it just keeps it really nice and neat. Um, for the boat, you're actually going to be decreasing on both sides. So do a half double crochet decrease in the first two stitches, like that. It's one. And half double crochet right across to the last two stitches where you're going to do a half double crochet decrease in the last two stitches. I've come to the last two stitches of the second row and just to uh, show you how to do a half double crochet decrease, I'm sure you know by now, wrap your wool around your hook, insert it into the stitch, wrap it around, pull it through, pull your wool through two stitches, leaving two stitches on your hook, wrap it around again, Put it through the stitch, pull it through, pull it through another the other two stitches, and then you should have three stitches left on your hook and pull it through all three stitches. Now you're going to do that again for this row. Chain one uh, and just do a half double crochet decrease in the first two stitches, like that, and then just do a half double crochet right across until the last two stitches and just while I'm doing that um, 
I'll just explain. Uh, for pliques and stuff like that, I like to steam them into shape. So I don't iron them because if you iron wool, it just goes all flat and floppy. But if you actually just steam them and then press your hand on them to, to kind of shape them, that works. And uh, sometimes I use starch just to harden them up. Again, I've come to the last two stitches of this row and I'm going to half double crochet both of those together. Chain one and turn my work. And I'm just going to do two more rows uh, for the little boat part. So just, uh, you know, decreasing the first two stitches and the last two stitches of the next two rows. And again, you can make your boat as, as big as you like um, and as, as tall as you like. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just meet you back at the very end of this. Okay, so I'm in the middle now of doing one single crochet the whole way around the boat. And in each corner, I'm going to put three single crochets. So I started off here where I finished my last row and I did one single crochet, crochet up the side of the boat and three in the corner. And now I'm just gonna start crocheting across the top of the chain stitches, which is, you know, the top of your boat actually. And just do one single crochet. And the whole point of doing the three single crochets in the corner is it makes the corner really sharp. Uh, it doesn't make it rounded. So I've just come to the corner here and I'm going to put my three single crochets in the corner, two, all into the same stitch and I'm going to do one single crochet down the, the, the side like this. Just come to the little corner again, again three single crochets all into the same stitch. It just brings your wall nicely around the corner and I'm on my last side of the boat which is the bottom of the boat and one single crochet across in each stitch. So I've come to the last little corner of the boat and uh, I started off with a single crochet just there so I'm just going to put two single crochets in that last stitch and I'm going to slip stitch. Um, chain one, put your wool, pull your wool through and pull that tight and then you can just weave uh, that piece of wool into your boat. Now, when you're steaming it, you just pull it into shape. And then all that's left to be done is take your background, whatever that might be, and you put your, sew your boat on using a darning needle. And you take your two sails, These aren't steam jets because they're a bit, they look a bit wibbly wobbly. Uh, take your two sails and sew them on. And there is your boat. Mm -hmm.